How do everyone, it's your buddy BP. It is September 30th, 2016, Friday morning, which means that it is Zord Day. And as you can tell by the little marking here, he is somewhere in the tower. Not sure where, maybe over there. I see a few players clustered over there. Let's go see if we can find him. Yep, and there he is. So. Down here in this little lounge area. Sounds pretty neat. All right. This will be our second Zord Day of Year 3, so I'm curious as to whether or not there's any new stuff in here. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, check his inventory. This is the nine. Titans this week will get the Armamentarium. It has an Intellect and Discipline build, focusing mostly on Discipline, which is really good for this armor type as you're about to see. It has both special ammo and heavy ammo loader, so it doesn't matter which uh, weapon that you're uh, using. As long as you select the right one to correspond to the class, you get more ammo. It has arc armor and arc recovery. Its exotic perk is and another thing, you get an additional grenade charge. What can I say? You get a bonus grenade. That's pretty much always useful. It's useful in PvE, it's useful in PvP. Whenever you are you not going to want a bonus grenade? And it looks cool. Check it out. It used to be that you couldn't change it with your shader, but now you can, and it looks badass. It's a very cool-looking uh, exotic armor. It has tremendous utility. It's just great all around. It's one of the best exotics in the game, period, in my opinion. And now we have it at 350 defense, and with what I would say is a fantastic roll. Definitely grab yourself one of these. Hunters this week will get the Sealed Ahamkara's Grasps. It has an Intellect and Strength build, which is not bad. Its other perks include Switchblade, Momentum Transfer, Rocket Launcher Loader, and Sniper Rifle Loader. Its exotic perk is Nightmare Fuel. You gain an additional melee charge. Melee damage has a chance to automatically reload your primary weapon. Especially useful, in my opinion, in PvP, especially if you're going to be running as your Night Stalker. It's great to have just, like, double smoke bombs. I mean, smoke bombs are just extremely useful. They're one of the best melee abilities in the game. But you don't have to necessarily use it with your Night Stalker. Of course, you can use it to get double blink strike or double throwing knives. Either, uh, uh, either of those are a great choice. But really, I think it best works with smoke bombs. This is fantastic for... Uh, for hunters. I think this is definitely one of the best hunter abilities, or rather hunter exotics in the game. Uh, I think hunters in general just have really strong melee abilities. So, again, if you don't have one of these, definitely pick it up. And it does have a swell roll on it. It's very nice. Fits with the, uh, with the exotic mechanic very well. So, yep, definitely go ahead and grab yourself one of these if you don't have them. Warlocks this week will get the Void Fang Vestments. It has a Discipline and Strength build. Its perks include Scout Rifle Ammo, Sniper Rifle Ammo, Void Armor, and Solar Burn Defense. Its exotic perk is Hungering Void. Spawn with full grenade energy and your Axiom Bolt Grenades spawn an additional Seeker. Axiom Bolt Grenades are especially useful in PvP. They're the grenades you throw them down, and if they're near an enemy, they spawn these little tiny grenade-lets, I guess you could call them, that will literally track enemies. They'll hunt them out, and uh, they won't stop until they reach a certain length or until they make contact with the enemy and deal damage. It might, it definitely won't kill an enemy at full health, but if you're just trying to chase an enemy or get them off a point, extremely useful. And you get a bonus seeker, which I guess is nice. But the real, um, the really nice part is the fact that you can just spawn with full grenade en energy, and that works across all subclasses. So let's say you're playing as your Sunsinger, and you're playing with the uh, ability that gives you two grenades. It lets your grenade stack twice. That means every time you respawn, boom, you get not one but two grenades. Fantastic. Great exotic perk. Uh, I would say it best serves it in PvP than it does in PvE, but still, if you like playing your Warlock in PvP, this is a must-have. Our exotic weapon of the week is the Mita Multi-Tool. Its perks include Soft Ballistics, CQB Ballistics, and Smart Drift Control. It has Third Eye, Lightweight, Quick Draw, and Field Scout. Its exotic perk, Mita Multi-Tool. 
This weapon boosts move speed and fires on a hair trigger. It seems like this weapon's never really gone out of style. It's always been a very popular weapon. It's just basically your uh, normal uh, run-of-the-mill, I guess you can say middle-range uh, scout rifle, only it just has really strong perks. I mean, look at that reload speed. It's pretty much excellent. And, well, it's just it fires extremely fast. And you get bonus movement speed, which is really nice for... Hunters, which are also very uh, already very quick as it is, or it's really good for something like, say, uh, your Striker Titan, if you're going to be using your Shoulder Charge, so you can close in on an enemy quicker. Tons of fun. It's got third eye, so it's easier to uh, tell what's going on in your surroundings, even when you're aiming. It's just an all-around great weapon, both for PvE and PvP, though I will, will say it's much stronger in PvP than it is in PvE. If you love playing in the Crucible, Everyone should have a Metal Multi-Tool. It's just one of those fantastic weapons that everyone should have. Definitely grab this one. Legacy Engrams are still a thing, apparently. <laughs> and you can get one for 29 Strange Coins. They are for Leg Armor this time. Weapon Ornaments. Heart of Gold. This is for the Truth. Not sure what it looks like. Sounds promising. And Iconoclast. And that is for the Invective. We have Heavy Ammo Synths, uh, one Strange Coin will net you a pack of three. Three of Coins, you get a pack of five for seven Strange Coins, and Glass Needles. Three Strange Coins, three Motes, and one Exotic Shard will net you three. And I'd say that just about does it for this video. Nothing new this week, sadly, that's a little depressing, but the stuff we got, very nice. I mean, we get the Armamentarium, which is one of the best exotic armors in the game. Sealed Ahamkara's Grass Fan, Void Fang Vestments are great for PvP, and there's the Mina Multi-Tool, which has always, always been a fantastic weapon. So yeah, I'm a little sad that there's nothing new, but the old stuff we got is definitely high quality, high tier stuff. What do you think? What do you feel about the haul we got this week? Let me know what you think about it in the comment section, and don't forget to spank that like button if you enjoyed this video, or if you found it helpful in any way. Your support means a lot to me. And as always, y'all be good to each other, and I will see you in the next video.